Hey guys, it's Jack from Diamond Wake here, and today I will be unboxing my new board, the Hyperlite Baseline. It's in this box. So, let's start doing it. So, a little bit of information on the board. It's a 141, which is the biggest size that it comes in. Uh, this box is really hard to open because they use metal, the giant metal staple looking things. So <laughs> we're gonna try and, and do this. Um, but while I'm struggling to open this box, you might be like, Jack, you have a board right there, the Liquid Force FLX. And yes, you are correct, I do have that board. I bought this board because at this time of year, a lot of wake boards are very cheap, and I bought a boat board because this board is designed for cable, and I decided to ride it on the boat just because it came with fins, and honestly, it's not really that good. So, I bought this board because I've been looking at it for a really long time, and I'm really into it, and it's very similar to one of my favorite boards, the Hyperlite Murray, because both of them are designed by Sean Murray except this one is basically just cheaper and has a little bit of a different design, but basically the same kind of thing. So now that we have struggled with the box, let's pull it out. There is the board. We're gonna move this out of the way so that you don't have to look at that the whole time. I'm just gonna put that off the screen. And this is the board. So this is just, there's nothing really in this part. It's just a ton of cardboard to keep it in there. And yeah, this is basically the board. For those of you wondering, this is the 2019 version. You may be like, this is in 2020, where's the 2020? I bought the 2019 one because it was so cheap and there's not really much difference between the 19 and the 20. So, let's start opening it. So, also, you might be wondering, Jack, what are those? Well, these are my hitch bindings that I unboxed with the FLX. And now, you might be like, but you were riding the form forever. You are correct. I rode the form because inside the hitch, there was some padding that didn't come with it. So I had to order new bindings and I was never able to ride these. But now I fixed the padding in those and I added extra padding in the one side that didn't have it. So now I'm going to be riding the hitch because they're 10 to 12 and that's going to fit me a whole lot better than the 12 to 13 form. And I'm selling the form to buy this board. Currently, we are doing it. We're not having much success because it's not really wakeboarding time right now. But we're going to sell them eventually, and I will make a profit off of this. So this is the cardboard thingy that comes with the board. I'm just going to throw that away again. And we're going to throw these out of there. This is the board. It's got the red top, the black middle, and the blue bottom. And in the middle of the board, right here it says Hyperlite Baseline. And then it says Hyperlite Wakeboard Company in the middle. And on the bottom, it's got Sean Murray's signature because he's the one that designed it. Along with Greg Nelson, he also helped design this board and it's a 141, so they listed that too. And on the back of it, it's got the giant Hyperlite logo, then the words Hyperlite, and then HLWB, which means Hyperlite Wakeboards. And then you've got the baseline again, and then the warning label, and then some size stuff. So, let's take it out of the plastic now. Snip that. 
and then you just rip open the plastic. comes with these thingies on the top. All wakeboards come with that when you're transporting them. They don't, they don't really do anything. You just make sure the board doesn't get all scratched and stuff. So, we've got extra plastic right here. We're gonna throw that away. And then also inside the board, you might have seen it comes with this. This is like warranties and how to set up the board and everything. So we're gonna put that over here because that's important. And this is the board. So next we'll get you some cinematics and then we'll start talking about the new features that it, the board has. Some of the cool features that this board has is on the bottom of the board, it's very flat. There's like basically just two channels and then that's it. And I've been really into that design ever since I saw the Murray for the first time. And it's just a design that I've been wanting to ride and now I can. Um, I don't really have like a preference towards like stuff that's actually on the bottom, just the way that it looks and the way that it's gonna feel where the water doesn't have to adjust or anything. I'm gonna really like that, I think, I don't know. But that's something cool and unique about this board. Something else unique about this board is the variable edge design. So you can kind of see how the edge is like hard at the end and then as it comes into the middle, it flattens out and then it hardens up again at the end. That's for, that's for making sure that you don't really take edges on the board. And if you do, it's not gonna hurt as much. Like for example, the FLX has like super thick edges and it's just because it's a cable board and it's gotta be stiff. And so when I took edges on the boat, it really hurt. So that's something that I'm really looking forward to on this board and it's, it's just really gonna help me not get hurt while I'm riding. Um, something else it has is you can see if you look close enough, there's four holes for the fins. The fins only have two holes. That's because the fins can move around. You can change how much you want the fins to grip when you're riding the board. You can make them slippy by moving them in, but you can make it grip more when you move them out. I don't really know which one I'm gonna preference, but I'm guessing I'm gonna like it more slippy, but we'll never know. I'll just have to test that in the future. Um, this board is also made of like triple layered fire fiberglass and that's because it's just gonna last longer with that that's something that hyperlite did to make the board last longer because this is like a beginner to intermediate board this board was designed so that like you could take your tricks to the next level which is kind of exactly where i'm at right now so this board is really going to help me just like learn new tricks and just get better at wakeboarding quicker 
It's also kind of obvious, but it's got the M6 inserts, so you can put any kind of bindings you want on this board. I am gonna be running the hitch. You may know that. I'm gonna be switching the hitch between the FLX and the baseline, depending on if I'm riding cable or boat. Um, yeah, the hitch are gonna be my new bindings. We're selling the form on eBay pretty soon. Um, look for that. Um, another feature on the baseline is the size of the fins. They're 0.8 inch, and that's basically just how big the fins are. Fins on the FLX are one and they're really big and these ones are kind of small so that's just something different about it it's not necessarily good or bad it's just the size of the fins it doesn't really make a difference this is also a smaller board it's a 141 as you might already know um and it also has a continuous rocker to it that's just going to keep the pop more consistent and it's not going to be as scary and it's just better for when you're learning tricks so you can get them consistent and get them down instead of having a three-stage rocker where it's gonna be sometimes different, sometimes like just not really consistent with the three stage. So a continuous rocker is gonna help. It's gonna help with tricks when you're getting consistent. This board is also very wide. It is super wide because it's gonna give you more surface area on the water. That in turn is gonna give you more pop off the wake and it's gonna make landings easier. Even when it's not that big of a board, it's only a 141. Because it's wider, it's gonna really help with staying stable in the water and getting more pop off the wake. And that's something that I'm really into. As I mentioned before, this board was designed by Sean Murray and he does have a video explaining all of his features if you wanna click up there, we have linked it. Um, he's basically just gonna explain the features way better than I am. So if you want more detailed description of it, you can check it out there or link in the description. Um, it's one of our favorite videos actually because it shows how to do like basic spins and inverts and that's really what we're going for this summer. So shout out to you, Sean Murray, because you're totally watching this. All right, so now I'm gonna put the bindings on the board and we're gonna see what that looks like. All right guys, so this is the board with the hitch bindings. Personally, I'm very surprised how well it looks considering liquid force bindings on a hyperlight board. They don't really go together, but I think they really do, especially with the red and black bindings, with the red, black, and blue board. I think that's definitely gonna look really cool together. It, and it definitely looks way better than the hitch bindings look on the FLX, because they really don't look good together. <laughs> but that's aside the point. Um, if you guys wanna check out more of our videos, Luke just made an unboxing of his new board, the O'Brien Valhalla, David OC edition. You can click up there and check that out. It's a very cool video. Um, both of us are basically running the same setup at this point now. We're gonna be changing our bindings out between our boat board and cable board. And I think that's really cool that we've come to this point. Um, neither of us really have that much money and we're just happy to be here. Um, yeah. That's, that's the board. This is the Hyperlight Baseline. Comment down below with video ideas you guys want to see. Leave a like. Make sure you subscribe for more upcoming videos this summer. And I think it's going to be a great summer. This summer is going to rock. So make sure you guys subscribe for an awesome summer. Peace.